What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next war recap video and this was a random treat for us actually. Uh, TD War is the clan we got matched up again and so much better than the normal farming wars we get. Uh, they're actually a legit a pretty good war clan. TD War uh, did a great job. They did struggle a little bit with that one Town Hall 11 but for the most part you know got us taken care of. They had some Town Hall 9s that were left on 3 starred uh, but you know this was a, probably a, a pretty tough war for them. And they did a really, really good job. And again, so much more fun than just a regular farming war. So congrats to TD War. Only a few Town Hall 9s left over. Uh, so good job there. One Hive did an excellent job. All the Town Hall 11s, uh, two-starred. And some Town Hall 10s, uh, three-starred. And a lot of those two-starred. And then obviously the Town Hall 9s all cleaned up. So excellent job to everyone there. Uh, Going to get to see actually a Town Hall 11 hit here by a Town Hall 9. I could not believe... When I saw it, I actually caught it live on the stream, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Uh, Dirt, going in on their number one. This is insane to me. Drops the queen down and just starts her walking. Now, look how far this queen walks on this. I'm actually probably going to have to fast forward it some because she just walks all the freaking way around this base. Unbelievable. Uh, gets so much percentage right there. And then the town hall being exposed a little bit uh, gets in there and gets that taken care of. Drops that one quake on there just to soften things up a bit. Uh, but we'll fast forward at least times two on this queen wall because she just goes on for days getting all of this percentage points, all of these defenses, this trash buildings, and all of that around the base there. So this ba looking at this base is, you know, pretty high level Town Hall 10, uh, but, you know, new Town Hall 11, I guess is what you would call this. Actually, probably close to a max Town Hall 10. Uh, level 40, 40 heroes. I mean, you know, this is no joke of a base. I mean, it really, it's really not. It does not have the Grand Warden yet, uh, but still... Very, very impressive for a Town Hall 10, or to me, a Town Hall 9, in my opinion, to get a two-star on a Town Hall 11. Um, the Eagle, you see, just dormant because all he's dropped is the Queen and the Healers. Has not reached that barrier of 100 uh, troops yet, so nothing to worry about there. Just continuing to walk her around, continuing to walk around. You see he's over a minute and a half into this attack, but it doesn't matter. All he's got to do is get, this, uh, get the percentages up and then get into that Town Hall. So as she continues to walk around, drops that Rage spell... Uh, just going, going, going. Look at she's come all the way past halfway across the base. Here he comes with the rest of his attack. You see the eagle fire up, um, start targeting his golem there. Boom, takes a pretty good shot on it. Let's check it out there. Uh, yeah, not that bad, actually. Um, didn't take a whole lot of damage to that golem, but taking an another shot at it here. The bottom golem going in, they put the jump spell down, so now everything's moving, which even reduces the damage even more. Uh, jump spell right into that town hall. You see the CC troops start coming out, but the queen has joined back up. The healers are right there helping out. Uh, everything in there just raging, poison. It's hard to see what's going on. Dropping that freeze, but really just trying like crazy to get this percent, uh, get this town hall taken care of because the percentages is already in the bag. Uh, right there, boom! The town hall goes down. Those pups are spread out, so the queen's working on it a little bit. But look at the percentage: sixty-two percent from a town hall nine on a town hall eleven. I would say something probably needs a little bit of a buff at town hall eleven. Although that was a good attack and not, you know, the best base in the world. Uh, still, uh, that's pretty crazy. Fast forward back a little bit: sixty-six percent two star by dirt on their number one. Excellent job, man! Beautiful attack. All right, moving on. Let's look at a Town Hall 10 three-star. Now, this one is by a Town Hall 11, but I wanted to show this because I know that you guys are probably, as you have some of your top guys move to Town Hall 11, you're going to want to know. You're going to say, hey, what works at Town Hall 11? What can our Town Hall 11s do to drop down and get those three-stars? And right now, Mass Witches with a few golems is really probably where everything's at. You see three golems going down, uh, everything just starting to move into the base, clear that trash out of the way, letting those few uh, little compartments get emptied out so he can drop his wall breakers in and get targeted right there to the core. So this is a wide open base, not the best base design, of course, but uh, drops the warden in behind it, and then here comes just a swarm of witches all moving up the middle with the heroes, uh, everything just going right towards the base. Keeping that warden on those uh, skeletons really helps out a lot, gives them that little bit of HP boost they need to last just a moment or two longer, uh, which makes a big, big difference, especially when you have those level three witches. There's just so many skeletons out there. Uh, so they start moving in, drops the Rage down, that keeps them moving forward even more, freezes that multi-inferno, which is important to let those witches get in there, all those skeletons get through and do their job, then right there uses the ability on the Warden, probably would have waited one second longer uh, till that freeze wore off and then use that ability, but no big deal. Uh, that makes them inv invulnerable for a few moments, drops the next freeze down, they continue to move their way through the base. Uh, you see the golems going low, the golems going high, just sort of fanning out uh, with some backup from some damage dealers. That's all you need. You see a couple of wizards right there, nicely placed on the backside. 
Uh, the heroes in the court just absolutely doing work. King is almost full health. Queen is full health. Uh, and that warden staying back, just giving everybody that protective HP boost, trying to help them out. Uh, but it seems like, again, because of the regeneration of the witches, that pairs best with the warden right now, even after the skeleton nerf. Before that, it was completely OP. But this is going to be a lot of what goes on. If you can get those two stars on Town Hall 11s, then you can use those remaining Town Hall 11 tax to come down and get these, I don't want to say guaranteed, but a high percentage chance at a three star uh, if you've got those high level heroes, the max troops, and uh, that warden with you. This is only a level 11 warden. I mean, as this thing gets continues to level up and gets to like level 20, you are going to see uh, some, some bases getting crushed. I really believe that. Uh, and that's going to be sort of the new meta, but that's part of it. It's the same way it used to be when Town Hall 10s dipped down to get 9s before all the 9s were cleaned up. We're going to see the process repeated, I think. So excellent attack by Tiny, uh, getting the 3 star there, coming down to get that last uh, cannon taken care of, and boom, that's it. So good job, buddy. All right, moving on, moving on. A lot of attacks to show you guys this war. Uh, 14 right here, Alpha Gill, getting our Town Hall 10 3 stars. The only other Town Hall 10 3 star I think we got on this one. It might have been some lower ones, uh, but this, those two I think are the, are the main two. Uh, golems going in. Wizards, just a nice fan of wizards out there creating that funnel. Going to step up, take out all that trash building, start taking out those high HP buildings and even those defenses in the first layer there. Going to start targeting those. The CC troop comes out, uh, puts a poison down. It is a lava hound in a balloon. A couple of P.E.K.K.A.s go in there. The uh, king and queen going in. Everything's going in right here. Oops, that's not a good time to get that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll do that later. Everything's going in here. Uh, just going right through the base taking out all of that first layer, then getting into the core here, uh, dropping that freeze down. The uh, single target, or excuse me, the single Infernal Tower, not really worried about it, not freezing it, but freezing the multi uh, on the backside there. So the queen gets in, then freezes that single, you know, lost a few wishes to that, but didn't want it to lock onto her queen, uh, uses that, the queen goes down, or excuse me, the queen takes it down, and then now everything is just sort of circling around, soaking up all those, all of those, um, Streams from the multi inferno, and then right there, then multi inferno goes down. Boom! I think my jump spell actually bugged out right there because of that little update popping up, uh, but no big deal. Comes down to the bottom. There's not a lot left here, and there is golem still up and out front. Wizards around the outside for cleanup. The queen still has her ability, so that's a big part of this. We'll fast forward here towards the end as uh, she starts to get on those point defense that king and those golemites are tanking for. Her. So right there, only thing left is that wizard tower, and that has absolutely no chance of stopping what she has left. So excellent three star by Alpha Guild there. This I think took three attacks to get this one taken care of. Uh, so really, really nice job. All right, moving on. Let's check out some Town Hall 9 action. Let's see. What are we looking at here? Noah taking on number 20 and doing it with some dragons. I got a lot of dragons up for you guys at Town Hall 9 on this one just because there was quite a few of them, and I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying watching them. You guys saw my live attack where I tried it and almost got it, just didn't get the job done. Uh, but they are fun to watch. Something a little different, you know, I mean... We see a lot of gohos, a lot of go a lot of loons, all those things. So when there's something different like that, I like to bring it to you guys. Don't get it wrong. That's still the meta. Most of the bases in this war were three starred by either goho or go la loon. But when you have these dragon attacks, I just think they're enjoyable and something a little bit different and fun to watch. So right there, drops the the rage down for his uh, queen because she was being targeted by three point defense, and that'll do the job. Uh, if you don't get her, those uh, healers raged up and get her back to full health, just letting her continue around the base. On the left side over here, he's opening it up, sending that giant in just to tank a little bit, and uh, he obviously wants to open it up for that air defense. Everything about this attack is the air defense. So as you see, uh, the queen's going to get the first two. He's got it already opened up for that king on the, on the third one, and then on that fourth one, he's got the zap quake. He just hadn't dropped it yet. But right there, that goes down. The king, obviously, going to get in there pretty easily and get that third air defense taken care of. The queen's going to get all this down here at the bottom still. Right there, she's about to go down. If he don't use the ability, I think he missed it. Was the ability already used? I think he missed his ability there. Uh, but no big deal. The damage was pretty much done. And then here comes the swarm of dragons up top. Uh, the zap quake, he just did it there at the end. But no big deal. Nothing even got targeted by that last air defense. But that's sort of the, the thing. You get all the air defense taken care of, and then dragons are incredibly viable at that point. Drops the rage down to help them get through some of those high HP buildings. And then as they get that done, they'll start working into the base. Not a lot left down here. You know, one one archer tower, the wizard tower. Uh, wizard tower doesn't really hurt dragons much. And then the expo and the tesla. And that's pretty much it. That's what he's got left to deal with. And he's got all of those dragons left. Uh, so no question he's going to get this taken care of. 
Uh, they get a few more high, high HP buildings that they got to go through from the top. But once they get that CC and those storages down from there, it is smooth sailing. They will start ripping through this stuff really, really quickly. Uh, right there, they all go down. And now it's time to take out those high threat uh, Expo, Tesla. Once they're down, that is GG uh, right there. A couple of them go down to traps, but again, that wizard tower means almost nothing, and that one archer tower is just not going to get it done against that many dragons. We'll fast forward times three. That's a three-star. Beautiful attack by Noah with a pretty cool uh, dragon, zap, quake, queen, walk, but whooping attack. Good job. All right. Uh, let's look at uh, Sloth. Is it? Uh, yeah, right here. Slothles taking out number 23. And doing it with a Govaho. I've been seeing a lot of Valks lately. It's it's so strange to me how the it sort of you know attacks just sort of change and they and they every war it seems like there's sort of a themed attack and in the last few wars it's been, we've seen more uh, more Valks. I don't know what it is, just that the bases fit for it or people are just enjoying using them or what. But uh, I enjoy watching them. I know you guys do. All you Redophiles out there love the Valks. So here they come uh, on the right side with a couple of golems, just wizards to create that funnel. Let everything just get, look at the size of this funnel. Nice and wide, no question where the troops are going to go. Queen's walking in, and then right there, the Lava Hound does come out. The jump spell goes down, and here comes the King and the Valks because the Lava Hound means absolutely nothing to them. But really, really wide funnel. Knew where his troops were going to go, which is very important on this. Uh, so right there drops the poison and I think a heal for them right here in just a second. A couple of hogs on that distracted archer tower, which I really like. Huge value there. Uh, the second jump, they should have already dropped it right there. A little bit late on that, but still the redheads get in there with the heal uh, and take out the queen and those skeletons. Just all of that just goes down very, very quickly. And then from there, it's just in reinforcing, uh, working your, your hogs through as everything's being distracted by, this, by these core troops, sending those hogs in. Uh, letting them take out those defenses so cheap. Look at that. Nothing's even touching those two hogs he sent in. They're going from defense to defense. Just to, actually three hogs uh, taking them out. And then right there, the Tesla farm pops. So he's got more hogs to deploy. Just continues to work that clockwise motion around the base. Still has that one heal spell left. And as they start to congregate and get towards the top, look at the queen taking out that Tesla farm. She said, no problem. I got you guys only one Tesla left. And then boom, right there. Perfect placement on that last heal keeps those hogs up and moving through till they get those last few defenses and from there it is just cleanup time he's got plenty of hogs left he's got his king up a couple wizards uh, no problem beautiful attack by sloffles on their number 23 good job man all right moving on let's see here how about spartan 10 a uh, relatively new member taking on number 25 and let's see doing it again with a go vaho so this is sort of again i got go vaho for you guys i think i did i don't think i've got a go Lalo, and i know i've got some more dragon attacks here towards the end so hopefully you guys are enjoying it a couple of golems go down wizards create the funnel all the normal stuff that we always see on every attack no matter what we're doing uh, wall breakers come in open up that first compartment and allow everything to sort of reroute back in there you see the wizards taking out those first few teslas as they approach and all the trash buildings are gone. And then as that funnel is created, here come the Valks in. Drop the first jump spell uh, right there. Can get access to that king and to the, uh, towards the queen, that, that compartment towards the queen there. She jumps the next wall, goes ahead and jumps the, or drops the heal spell. She's actually in that compartment with them there. Uh, so he drops the next jump spell even further up just to continue to pull his Valks, his golems, all of that through the base. The queen takes out that dragon. Sprinkles in just a few hogs, again, that distracted archer tower. I love when people do that. They, that's just paying attention to a distracted defense that you can get very cheaply just for just a few hogs. Uh, and they continue to work their way through the base, taking out more defenses. So that's always nice. And then just that surgical deployment, the same thing we always see. Uh, that heal spell goes down for them. Last few hogs on the back side. The queen's still up. Got a few Valks up with that king still, I believe. Uh, they're working their way through and doing a lot of tanking still. The queen's ability just get used down at the bottom there. She finally gets through that wall, I think, here in just a moment and gets up and starts shooting at that storage of all things instead of the archer tower that was right in front of her taking damage. But, hey, she is has improved greatly over the over the months and years, so I guess we can't grab at her too much. The last few defenses going down here, the hogs working their way to it. Uh, still has some Valks up, actually one Valk or two up, and the king and some wizards around the outside. Got a few hogs left. Everything you need for a nice, tidy three-star. Good job, Spartan 10. All right, let that one finish up. And we will grab a few more for you guys. Let's check out Blue taking on Blue Proud taking on number 27 and doing it again with some uh, dragons. Love it. And look at the spell competition. Four rages. Does not use any jump. 
nothing for, for any of that. Just rages it out for his dragons and his healer uh, and the queen walk there. Love how he gets these three air defenses right here because they're all sort of right there together. And he knows if he gets that queen in that compartment, she'll walk right in and take care of everything. Plus, he's got a plan for the backside as well. Uh, the great thing about this attack, again, is you don't have to worry about that queen. You just forget about her. All you're thinking about is how can I get to those air defenses and get them taken care of, and uh, Blue Proud has a plan for it. So right there, the queen takes the first one out. She's stepping up. Not only is she getting the air defenses, she's getting other high-value things for a dragon attack, like that expo, uh, like this archer tower, a wizard tower. Those things all matter for that. And look, at, I love that one hog right there. So many distracted defenses. Now, the king is there, and that Tesla pops and brings it over, so kind of a fail, but still a good thought there. Um, the Lava Hound comes out, has the Rage down for his, his Queen and for that healer. Uh, so she's okay right there. It's about to explode, and she'll get uh, some, some pups on her, but she'll take care of those pretty quickly. There's nothing around to distract her. She's going to really be able to focus on those pups and get them taken out. Um, still has the two air defenses to get on with this Queen, but again, with that extra time, you can be more patient with your Queen Walk. Goes ahead and uses that Queen's ability, pops some extra archers to help her clean up some of that stuff. Uh, you see how quickly all those pups go down. The healers are in good shape still. And now she will continue into that little compartment, that little direction that he's got for her uh, to get in there and get those last two air defenses. On the right side, just some free buildings with some minions there, getting them taken out. All around the base, everything he can target freely, uh, he does. And also is creating a funnel for his king over here to get that last air defense once it's time. Right there, the second air defense is going down to the queen. She's going to continue to step up. Take out those sweepers, too. You know, that's another bonus right here on um, this queen walk. Sweepers are, are big. They're a pain for dragons. Uh, so she's going to get those as well. Wall breakers go in with that giant tanking right there. Open it up, and here comes the king. Uh, he knows that the that king's going to go right in there, can use the ability, and get that last air defense. You see the queen going into the core here. Not to mention the queen is going to engage the enemy queen here. Uh, get that taken care of. So that's a nice little bonus as well. And so she gets that last sweeper. The dragons start going down, uh, just sort of create a, a mini funnel for them to push them through the base. You see the king took out that last air defense. Actually, the queen came over and started targeting the king there. I'm sorry. She would have engaged that queen, uh, but it was just a little bit. The king got there too soon. But it doesn't matter when you've got that many dragons. It really doesn't matter. The queen finally comes back over. She goes down. Now you know the story. Two rages all those dragons, a few balloons, and look at what's left in this space. One, two, three, four, five towers counting that Tesla. That's it for all those dragons. This base is wrecked. He's got two rage spells and a haste. I mean, come on, give me a break. He just absolutely smashed this base. Love the game plan, uh, getting in there and getting it done. And then again, just so, so many dragons at the end. They just go through the what's remaining so fast. Drops that rage spell. Doesn't need the last rage spell or haste. Swags them right. Actually, doesn't even swag them, but saves them. Good job, Matt. All right, a couple more, and we'll wrap this one up. Scorpion wins, taking on number 30. And, oh, what do you know? More dragons. This time with a Zap Quake. Love it. Again, the whole thing about these is just finding a way to get those air defenses taken out and taken out as efficiently as possible. Like the location right there, because he's going to get three defenses for that Zap Quake. So that's perfect. That whole little compartment just gets absolutely obliterated. Comes in on the left side with a couple of golems and his... Uh, Kill squad here, wizards go down, create the funnel, normal stuff. You always see every attack uh, right there, like that minion, can't be really touched right there, and the queen goes down. So from here, he's going to open it up with some wall breakers, let her right into that core where she's going to have access to those uh, remaining air defenses. Uh, wall breakers right there, boom, open it up. She's going to start marching the golems out front. That's great. A couple more wall breakers go up, almost open up that next compartment, but don't get it done. These guys really like the Lava Hounds. They had a lot of them in there. It's a time sink. It's it's not a bad decision at these days because of the second poison spell. It's just so easy to deal with anything else that comes out of that CC. Uh, so right there, the queen's locked on. She's going to be dealing with that as uh, the king works forward and starts taking out some of these storages. Uh, right here, it's going to explode in just a moment. Boom, there it goes. The queen's going to start taking it out. The king's doing a little bit of tanking. Drops that poison spell for the truth, for the few that are on that king. Uh, it's going to help slow that damage down and also take them out. Right here, the uh, queen steps up. She's going to uh, get that uh, air sweeper, going to get that air defense. The king actually opens up that wall, which is perfect because he's going to head over, get that next air defense right there, which is going to leave just that last one for the queen to grab. Dragons are going down. Here they come. Queen's getting that last AD. Uh, right there, boom. The dragons on the right side just going to work their way through the base. Still has the two rages there. That's awesome. Tons of dragons going through. A few minions just to back them up, clean up some of those trash buildings to help push them to the core of the base. Uh, the queen's going to go down right there, boom. She gets taken out. So the enemy queen is still up, but again, with two rages, as soon as those dragons start to get close, can rage them up, 
take her out in just one breath, basically. Uh, to help him deal with that sweeper and those uh, skeletons right there, that rage. Uh, so those dragons move forward, get to that collector. One giant bomb comes in, but luckily targets that dragon that was just almost dead. So that's always a good a good thing when you get that targeted. Uh, right there, the last rage on those dragons to help take out that queen. You see how quickly she goes down. And from there, we'll fast forward a little bit because it's just dragons doing what dragons do. Uh, just going through the base, taking everything out, being pretty tanky in their own right, and with only, as soon as that expo goes down, with only three towers left, no chance of this base defending. So right there, the expo goes down. Uh, that is that. We'll fast forward, because they are just going from defense to defense, from building to building, taking it out. All of them focused on one, just one breath. Everything's gone. Uh, beautiful attack by Scorpion. Nice and patient. Great game plan. Gets the three-star. Good job, buddy. All right, last one. Last attack. It's a long one for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, Oase one. I think it's just his mini actually taking out their number thirty three. Comes in with a stone go ho. Or excuse me, go valo, not go ho. Sto stone go valo. So three golems going down. Uh, several valks. I think he's got five valks there. Did I miss one? I thought he had more than that. Okay, five valks. Uh, opening up. Clearly, he's going to get into that compartment with, or that section right there with those three air defenses, and then has the zap quake for the off one. From there, 16 loons just to wreck the back side of the base. Uh, so really, really nice. And obviously, he is going to put that uh, jump where the queen is likely to come in and get the the uh, get engaged there. You see he's got three more wall breakers, so just being patient, waiting for that to develop. The CC troops come out, has a poison spell for them. Uh, right there, uses the king's ability, beats through that next wall. So now that with that jump spell, he knows he can go right to that queen and to the next compartment uh, where that where that air defense is. Uh, the queen's going to step up and shoot it, though, very easily. The enemy queen goes down. There's the zap quake, taking out that uh, last air defense on the side there. And here come the balloons, just targeting each defense he can. Look how many defenses he can target at once with these balloons, just working his way around the base. And watch them as they just start to disappear here. Uh, those bombs start dropping. Look how few of defenses are left in just a few more seconds. Boom, those ones on top go off. There they go. Those defenses are gone. All that's left is really that expo and that, that archer tower up top and that wizard tower. So boom, another one goes down. Uh, just beautiful. Balloons just going through the base, wrecking everything. Just love it. Go Volo, just such a beautiful attack. And again, now with the extra uh, dark spell, having that Zap Quake as a more viable option is really enjoyable to watch. The King's still messing around down there at the bottom, but he's not really scaring anybody. Uh, as the balloons and the Queen come down, then they will take care of business. He goes down right there, and that is the three star. Awesome attack to Oase. Good job, buddy. All right, that is it. Nice long recap for you guys and a, and a random matchup with TD War that was really enjoyable. Hope th they, those guys had a good time. Uh, in the war as well. 26 to 21 on the three stars. Good job to everybody at One Hive and TD War. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.